A woman who gained infamy after she uploaded a video of herself arguing with the police in a hospital was deported to China on Wednesday, said the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority ICA. She is also barred from re-entering Singapore, ICA added. On October 25, Hon Fizi was sentenced to five weeks and five days jail and fined $600 after pleading guilty to charges involving two separate incidents of using abusive language against security officers and a Singapore General Hospital SGH employee. The 29-year-old Chinese national also broke manpower laws for lying in her work permit application. One of the incidents took place at SGH on October 10. The episode went viral after Han posted an 11-minute video on Chinese social media platform Douyin on the same day, in which she was seen arguing with two investigation officers IOS. The IOS showed up at SGH after receiving a call for help from the hospital regarding a verbally abusive patient. Han had earlier hurled abusive remarks at a patient service associate who had advised her to wear a mask. The police said Han also allegedly used vulgarities in Mandarin against one of the IOs and refused to give a statement. On October 3, Han was involved in a separate incident at the sale at Marina Bay, a condominium in Marina Boulevard. When a security supervisor at the condo offered to escort her to her unit after seeing that she was squatting at the leaf lobby. Hon turned aggressive, shouting vulgarities at him and pushing him repeatedly. Hon admitted that in both incidents, she was drunk at the time of her offence. She apologised in court on October 25 for causing inconvenience to everyone after her sentence was read out. She had been in remand for 13 days before the court hearing. Hon entered Singapore on at least four occasions since 2019. She was issued a work pass on August 12 after stating in her application that she would be hired as a clerk. But she was later found to have moonlighted as a hostess. Her work pass was revoked following her conviction, the Ministry of Manpower said, adding that she will be permanently barred from working in Singapore.